Now here's a quick demo on how to uh, apply some masking tape. Now the same technique applies to most things you need to mask. Um, I'm just going to do this little bit of skirting and um, I'll give you an idea of how it's done. Now the first thing you want to do is make sure the, uh, the edge is clean because the tape will not stick to a dusty surface. So make sure you brush that off first. Now when you're starting off with your tape, because you're starting in a corner, you want to rip it slightly on an angle. That way the tape will go into the corner better and you've got a nice sharp point. So start from your corner, get it in there nicely. Now you don't rip it off in small bits, you always hold the roll like so. Then line the tape up and gently push it down. Holding the tape at the back, pulling the roll along and continuing on that way. And the actual roll is hard up against the wall and this helps to actually guide to get a nice straight edge along the wall there. So you just keep on going on like so. Then once you've done the complete section, or you can do this as you go, um, get a putty knife. Now, I use a putty knife for the main reason of the rounded edge. The rounded edge is perfect for going back and pushing the tape back down. I've seen people use scrapers, etc. But sometimes the pointy bit can actually dig into your wall. So yeah, a, a putty knife is one of the best things to use. And make sure you push it down firmly and that way paint won't get underneath the masking tape. I'll also show you how to do a corner. So when you're putting your masking tape on and you come to a corner, apply it like you normally would. When you actually get to the corner itself, take out a little bit more than you actually need, get it into the corner, and then once again, using a putty knife, Push the point of the putty knife right into the corner and then just tear the um, tape away. And that way you'll get a nice neat corner each and every time. So that's been just a bit of a demo on how to apply masking tape.